Okay, so I'll be testing uh, various cables. I've got two passive cables and one, two, three, four, five active cables. I'll be testing them all on this Asus Z170 Deluxe board. It's got um, uh, Intel ports, USB 3 ports running off the Z170 chipset, and it's got uh, AS Media 3.1 USB. Um, so first cable is this one. Ah, I'll also be testing on the Inatec cards that Oculus recommend. It's the seven port um, Inatec card. Um, takes power off the motherboard as well. Okay, so first one is the Cable Matters 3 meter passive USB 3 extender. USB 3, there we go. Um, so this one, starting off with AS Media ports, detects as USB 2. Works, but detects as USB 2. Uh, connecting to the Intel ports, again, works, but detects as USB 2. On the Inatec card, and um, it detects as USB 3, and it uh, works. However, there is a bit of a weird error, and this hopefully this is just a temporary thing with Oculus Home since the update, but it says um, driver error, you, you may encounter errors with your performance if you do update your drivers. Although on the forums I've seen that Oculus is starting to recommend that people actually leave it with the Windows drivers, so that's going to be a weird thing with all the tests on that. Um, so that one only seems to work with the Inatec card as USB 3, but there's a bit of a question mark with the Inatec card in general at the moment because I don't like the red warning. Okay, uh, next one, passive cable, Amazon Basics cable. That's uh, just a one, is that the right way up? There we go, Amazon Basics, USB 3 cable. That's just a one meter cable. Uh, that works on everything. Plug it into the Intel ports, the AS Media ports, and the Inatec. Everything detects as USB 3, works on all of them. Uh, so that's that one. So that one definitely works on everything. Amazon Basics one meter passive extender. Okay, active cables. Okay, this one. I mean, it doesn't really look like it should work, but I bought it anyway. Belfin Super Speed USB three extender. It says it's active, but if you look at it, it really doesn't look like it. So that's the connector. Doesn't look like there's a lot of electronics going on there to boost the signal. USB three connectors at the end, but. That doesn't work with anything. That worked to Texas USB 2 with everything. Um, so that one's out. So that's the Belfin Super Speed USB 3. That's a five meter uh, active cable. Although as I say, I'm very much doubting that's got active electronics in it. Okay, uh, next one. Okay, cable matters. Cable matters seem to be almost the top here on Amazon. So that's what that one looks like. So that's the Cable Matters one. It's got a port in the side for a 5 volt connector. However, I found with all the USB 3 um, active cables, they, uh, they don't seem to need power um, with the cameras. So that's the Cable Matters one. This is the one I got first, and it worked perfectly. It detects as USB 3. Um, but what I found, and that's why I'm doing this whole test, it only detects as USB 3 in one of the AS media ports. Doesn't work on the Intel ports at all and it only works when I unplug almost everything else, so that's not ideal. Um, so it does work, but it only works in certain circumstances. Again, this one works on the Inatec card, but it does have the Inatec um, uh, driver uh, warning. But so uh, that one did work on the Inatec card, but it didn't work on everything, so it works if you've got the Inatec card, but it's not as good as some of the others, which you'll see work on everything in every circumstance. Okay, next one, cable creation. Um, by the way, all these active extenders, they're all five meters. Five meters seems to be what you can use to actually get a proper room scale set up with opposing trackers. Okay, next one, cable, cable creation, uh, active USB 3 extender. There we go, these are all off Amazon. I'll put all the links down below. So there we go, there's that one. USB 3 connections on the end there. Okay, uh, this works on everything. Detects as USB 3 in every port, AS Media, Intel, Inatech. You just plug it in and it works. So I, from my experience, that one is one that you plug into anything and it works. Five meter active extender. When you get in, um, tracking's good. So yeah, I'd recommend that one. Um, one of two I'm gonna seem to be the, uh, the best ones out of the lot. So that's that one. Okay, next one. This one I think is marketed under lots of different brands. I think one of them is HSL or something, but I think everything that looks like this is probably the same cable. So I bought this as a 
Mutec Power 5 meter extender. So it looks like that. It's again got a 5 volt port in the side, doesn't, doesn't come with it and it doesn't need it. This one I saw, I think, I can't remember, there's, there's a YouTuber um, who's showing lots of stuff on uh, uh, with Oculus Touch, with opposing trackers, and I got this idea from him, I saw the tracker he used, and the cable he used, and it works. It works in every port, um, Intel, AS Media, and the Inertec. This is the first one, um, along now with this one, that just works. So I recommend that one from my experience, that's a good one to go for. So that's the Mutec Power 5 meter cable, but my guess is everything that looks like that is probably this cable, they just rebrand it from the same factory. Okay, last one. I checked this one, but really considering these other two ones work, this one's probably not one to go for. This is £50 for a USB cable, it's a StarTech cable, it's 5 meter active extender, and again, so it looks like that, uh, there we go, looks like that. USB 3 connectors on the end there. Again, this works in every port, works on an Intel port, works on an AS Media port, works on an Inertec port. So this one works on everything, but it's £54 and it comes with power connectors. So it comes with all the uh, the 5 volt connectors, but you don't need them. So this cable creation one, I can't remember, I think this, this one was about sort of £10-ish. Um, this Mutec one, this one was about £20-ish. £54, so it works, but probably don't want to spend £54 on a cable. Um, so, yeah, that's it. So, summary, the cables that always worked, uh, Amazon Basics 1 meter extender, passive, that works on all ports, AS Media, Intel, and Inertec, so that's just one that just works on everything. Cable creation, USB 3 5 meter extender, that works on all ports, AS Media, Intel, and Inertec, that works on everything. Every connection always detects as USB 3. Hasn't dropped in my experience. This one I've tested the most, I just had it the longest, but uh, again, this one uh, works on, uh, that's, I bought it as Mutec, but if it looks like that, it's probably the same. Uh, it works on the Intel, the AS Media, uh, and the Inertec, and uh, I've been using this for like hours, and it, it's never dropped out. It always detects as USB 3. Um, one thing I'd say, if you are testing cables, if you're buying cables yourself, connect to, um, go into Oculus devices on Oculus Home, plug it in and wait for it to connect, and then wait at least 60 seconds, at least 60 seconds, because some of them you'll find, like the, um, the Cable Matters uh, 5 meter extender, look fine, and then you'll give it 45 seconds, a minute, just after a minute or so, it'll suddenly flick over and say, oh, no, I've dropped some frames, or this, uh, this isn't a stable connection. Um, so that, that can be a problem. So if you're going to test it, um, make sure you wait and watch before you, uh, um, before you decide that it's the cable to go for. Um, okay, that's everything.